Hello everyone, I'm Faisal, Faris Baj HSP member and today we are going to learn about sorting, simple sorting always. What do we mean by sorting? Sorting is ordering, ordering of things. Ordering represents there is a level of uh, a level difference in items which, in which we can compare. So we, these items could be number or object like string we can list many objects that are comparable so ordering of those objects those numbers in a certain way for example for numbers we could have ascending order one two three four and we could have also four three two one descending order this also apply for objects depending upon the way we compare them. Sorting can be useful in different applications. The first, applications, the first application we can think is dictionary. Dictionary of words in real life. And if I have a dictionary and I'm trying to find a word called code, and by some chance, when I open the dictionary, like there is a word called mouth. And if we, when we open the dictionary, we find mouse, we know that code will be located in this direction because when we compare this and this, C is appearing first. Because in this in list of words that are presented in dictionary, they are sorted in alphabetical order, and we can use that property to find words in an efficient way. There are a couple of problems, like we can use sorting to optimize them, or to find the solution, like finding duplicates in an array, and we can also have algorithms that run on sorted uh, version of items, like binary search. So we'll talk about them later. When we talk about sorting, there are two concepts. One is stable, and the other is in place. What do we mean by stable? What do we mean by in place? When we talk about stability of an algorithm, stability of a sorting algorithm, let's say we have this array. And after sorting these numbers, we could have two possibilities. One is like this. The other is these both are sorted and when we see the items that are identical in an unsorted one, this is not sorted, the black one appears first. On this one, the black one is appearing in the last, which means we have changed the order of identical items in an unsorted array. For this one, we didn't uh, change their position. So, when we talk about the stability, this one is not stable because it changed the order of identical items. So, stability means if there is a tie between item in a given list of items, their order must be kept. So, if the first one is appearing uh, on the last, on the sorted one, it is not stable. So the first one should appear on the first, while only considering the order of the identical ones. This is not stable, this is, whereas this is stable. Because the black one is appearing first, and the green, the green one is appearing last. And this is stability. What about implicit? We are given this input. Now, I have created the same array. And which is size of this, then I find the minimum one, which is one. I removed it. Then I find the next minimum, which is two. I removed it, and I removed it, and this one is. Now this is sorted, and we returned this array. And another way of sol sorting it is, let's say if I have two, two and one. I can swap the values 
Let's say this two and two are okay. Two and two are not okay. Swap them. Then the next iteration two and two one are not okay. We swap them. And finally the array is sorted. Both of these arrays are the same. They are sorted. But on this one we used another array to sort it and return that one. On this one, whereas we have never used anything except we just swapped elements on the given array and sorted it. This one is in place. As the name implies, we are doing things in place. This one uses additional memory, which is defined by uh, the size of the input to generate new results, which are sorted. So this is not in place. And this is what in place means in an nutshell. Stability always talks about the order of identical items. Implicity always talks about using of extra memory for a given sorting algorithm. Thank you for listening. This is a short recap on sorting. And next, we will talk about different basic types of sortings.